first topic today we're going to talk about is high school sports, uh, the winter sports here. Uh, we Big got game tonight, Burlington, yeah. Melrose. Hockey team, got Burlington tonight. Uh, definitely going to win. Yeah. Um, predicting an 8-0, eight, 9-0 eight nothing, nothing <laughs> win. <laughs> nah, um, um, uh, how's uh, the basketball team? Uh, AJ was on the basketball team last year, but uh, he was too good for the team, I guess. So uh, how's the team doing without you? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, um, you know, you know. Um, no, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the team a lot, you know what I mean? I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they miss me a lot. You know what I mean? No, you know, a couple people that make the team. I'm not going to say any names, Jake Broussard. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stuff like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, what's the basketball team's record this year? Well, what's the record? About um, three, and, three and six, I think. Yeah. Um, they had a big win against Lexington, though. That was big. Can't say they didn't do a good job there. Yeah, true. Uh, I think Sherlock had what twenty six. He did. Yeah. Uh, 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 Andy, uh, Andy had ten. Um, you know, good game. Um, that's probably the best game they've had in about five years. Yeah. Young prospect Denzel Jones. Um, oh yeah, she's really good. Not um, definitely not a scorer, yeah. but he will rebound for you. And she's good off the, the bench too. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Be, you know I mean? Play that leadership role as a yeah, senior. Yeah, definitely. So. You know, you know. I mean. Um, but as far as hockey tonight, how do you think you guys want to do? Uh, tonight, realistically, uh, I think we'll have a close game against Burlington. Um, probably one of the best teams in the league. Yeah. But so will we. So uh be a good head-to-head matchup. Um, got Blaze Healy back from uh, his little – he took a break. Uh, he got hurt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, he uh, came back his first game, had three goals. Um, they call that a hat trick? Yeah, he had a hat trick, yeah. And believe me, the girls were all over him after the game. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, – yeah, you know, uh, what else, What other sports have we got in the winter here? We got the girls' hockey team. They were, I think they were at, like, 7-2-1 uh, and one to start the season. That's a very good first yeah. uh, 10 games. Yeah, it is. Um, and uh, who else we got? Girls' basketball, they're struggling this year. That's yeah. a surprise. Well, I mean, well, they lost a lot of the seniors and all their key players. Yeah, so. they did. They did. But, you know, that's why you got to always bring in, you know, new freshmen and stuff every year. But yeah. they were relying on the same girls, you know, the Hannah yeah. Brickley, Colleen Hanscom. All those girls play college basketball now, and now right. they're – Losing a lot of the games. Yeah. Well, uh, so, so uh, we're building here. You yeah. Know, so I, I mean, the basketball team they can still make the playoffs. You know, what I mean, they're not they're not doing bad. I mean, they they lost a lot of close games. So. So if you're not playing basketball, what are you doing over the winter? You're just working out um, every day. You know, I'm you know trying to hang out with you, trying to you know trying to get a, a little a little uh, muscles like you. You know, what I mean, just. I get that a lot. Thank <laughs> you. Um, but uh, you know, yeah. this, you are know, you gonna play basketball over the team next year? Um, definitely. You know, what I mean. Uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't talked to, you know, uh, this is a guy named Leo who works for the Celtics. Um, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't yeah. talked to him in a while. Um, yeah, you're going to play for the Celtics, AJ. Uh, no, 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 not the Celtics. He works for the Celtics. It's an AAU team called BABC that gets to prep school and stuff like that. Oh, the like Boston, that. yeah. They've, so, yeah. I haven't, I haven't talked to him yet, you know. Um, you know, definitely. I mean, I've been talking to, um. A friend of mine named Denzel Jones. I don't know if you know him. Yeah. Um, she's pretty good. You know, he's just, you know, he's telling me that, you know, they, the, scoring wise, they need, they need somebody like me. You know what I mean? They really yeah. do. Yeah. You know, that's, that's all he's really been saying, you know. He's saying he can't do it by himself. And, you know, the record is reflected. I got you. I got you. All right. Well, uh, we're going to take a break right here. And uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about the Patriots' disappointing loss at the end of the season. Hey guys, welcome to class. Okay, what I need you all to do now is take out the homework, which is to answer the question, what is the name of the line between the North and the South during the Civil War? <laughs> Jake, 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 number seven. What's the answer to number seven? <laughs> you What's the answer to number seven? You. Uh, I had... I didn't do number seven. Alan, what do you got? Uh, uh, um, uh, the Great Wall of China. 
passenger pants, stupid. Bobby, number seven, what do you have? The line between the north and the south is called? It was called the Mason-Dixon line. Yeah, absolutely, the Mason-Dixon line, guys. What? Uh, how? Him? Yeah, hey, Code, did you see that game last night? Yeah, it was a pretty sweet game. Yeah, it was. Here's that goofy kid, Muhammad. What's up, guys? What's up? Hey. Yeah, that kid, Muhammad, such a loser. Yeah, you should make a fake Facebook. Dude, that's a great idea. Let's All go right, do, let's it. do it. Dude, this is awesome. This dude looks so stupid. I know, this kid's such a loser. Dude, I can't wait to see his reaction. He's probably gonna cry and everything. Dude, this is awesome. Oh, it's so dumb. Look, there he is. Oh my god, what a loser! <laughs> kid's gonna be so mean. Welcome back. Uh, next topic, me and you know, professional football here, NFL. NFL. All right. Story of the year. Patriots lost to the Jets in the second round of the playoffs. What's your take on that? Um, personally, I was happy. My coach lost. Um, uh, your feet. I understood because... And what round did the Colts lose in? Well, what, they, what is this? Just, they, we just lost in our first game. Forever, just like bye, the Patriots bye, bye, lost bye, bye, in their first game. Oh, but what round? It doesn't matter what round. You still lost it in your first matter, game. It doesn't matter, but they made it further. You lost in How? You didn't they play made, for They that. made it further. You didn't play to make it there. They you didn't. The they played all year you to make the it there. You had the first round by. They played all year you to make it there. You lost in your first game in the playoffs. doesn't matter. They went to the next round. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They went to the next round. We're fishing together. We're going fishing together, okay? All right, so... No. We're both out, okay? Uh, the Jets, the Jets beat us both. Um, they came in with a okay. big. Don't say, in, don't say us both because I'm not in, on the Patriots and you're not on the Colts. Okay, right. you have nothing to do with the Colts like winning said, or losing. Like I have nothing I said, to do with the Patriots winning or losing. You're a fan, so you're part of the team. No. Yeah, that's, you that's are. That's just dumb. I just hate no, people in it's sports. it's not dumb. When they make comments like that, when they have nothing to do with it, the, they're not affiliated with the team at I all. I am affiliated with them. We it. lost. We won. No. The team that the team that plays in your state won or lost. Oh, okay, well. Okay, you can be a fan. Like you, I said. It's not a way of life. You, so, should, you should be into your own hometown sports and the sports that you play. But I mean, you don't. No, you play your basketball team. What do you mean? What do you mean? That would be your team. No. The Colts are my team, too. Cause I'm a fan yeah. of them. You don't even live in Indy. It doesn't. What does that mean? You have thousands so, of miles away. Someone. So you like all Boston teams, all New England teams. You don't like nobody else. Nah, I like the team, but they're not my number oh, one team. Right. But do I say, oh yeah, I like the Chargers? Yeah. Listen, we lost. To, we didn't make the playoffs. Back to I look. Like, no. Back to topic. Stupid. We're gonna you, talk, you just we're sound gonna talk ignorant. About stupid. the Patriots. You sound Jets stupid. That's nothing to do. You just brought up something lost. Your team lost. I'm not affiliated with the Patriots. Oh my God. I'm not affiliated. Do I have a? Patriots jersey that says Hanson on it. You know, I should have got to go through this. <laughs> so I have a Patriots jersey that says number 24, Hanson on it. No. Especially when you have to do this with them. Especially at math class, Mitch Lamblin is at to do this all the time with CJ Hanson. Never a dull but moment a, a with sports him. Fan, Never a dull moment with him. A sports fan does not. Just because Never you're a fan a dull moment unless with you, him. Unless Can you, we talk about unless the Unless you stats? receive a ring on hey, your finger hey, when you were in the hey, championship. Well, you know what? I definitely have a ring from the coach. Right? I ordered one, okay? I have one. Yeah, I mean, Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, well, where is it? It's at home. Yeah, it's, it's in a case. Yeah, where do you live? Uh, Melrose. <laughs> yeah, okay, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have a hat that says Roxbury on it, but you live in Melrose, and that's yeah. where your ring is. No. You don't have a ring. <laughs> Unless you receive one from the Colts, you're not part of the team. You take them off the hood, but you can't take the hood out of me. You know what I mean? You can't take them off the hood, but you can't take the hood out of me. You feel me? The stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you're so dumb. You're so dumb. <laughs> it is dumb, <laughs> dumb and ignorant. Yo, yo, you know, you know Denzel, right? You know Denzel, right? We talked about him earlier, right? He is, he acts so tough around school all the time. Yeah, well, that's and, it. And he is from one of the the lightest hoods in Boston called CP. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's called, it's called CP. And you know what I mean? But uh, wait, no, but let's get back on topic here. Uh, uh, yeah, so the right, Patriots so, and Jets. So, so uh, what do you think? The, the Jets, that was two weeks ago. Now the Jets. This past week lost to the uh, Steelers. 
I think the Steelers and the Green Bay, I think that's a great game yeah, to watch. Yeah, definitely. That's a really, two really good football teams. Um, the Patriots actually handed it to the Steelers, and they yeah. What even the I think Green Bay is a very good team. The Patriots that was one of the only teams that Patriots didn't blow this season. Yeah, without, and they did it without Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, exactly. That's, it came down to the last play of the game, yeah. and it was a timing mistake. And yeah. I guarantee you, if Rodgers was in there and playing that whole game, that would have been a much tougher it game definitely, for the Patriots. I think so too. I think so too. So I definitely have definitely have the Packers winning the championship this year. I don't know who do you have. Um. I get, I'd have to agree with you on that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not to say that the, I don't think that the Steelers will have a – it will be a very good game, a very very tight game. Definitely. I think it will be uh, down to a, maybe a six-point game, last but drive of the game. What I do think is my, – My guess, I'm going to go 28-24. But I, it's Green Bay. Uh, yeah, yeah, Green Bay is definitely going to win, but – but I don't know. I mean, their pass defense, Green Bay's pass defense is the best in the league. Yeah. I, like, average, what, like a pick a game or even two, a half? You know, I mean, they're really the very – I mean, the Green Bay defense is just – something. they got Jenkins, Raji. Raji, who is a BC graduate. I um, mean, you know, BC just puts out some of the best linemen in the country offensively yeah. mostly, but, I mean, even some of these defensive linemen. He, I wouldn't be – he might be just as good as Wolf Fork right now. And he's oh, young. Yeah. And he's yeah. he's young. And you got Clay Matthews, you got yeah. Charles Wilson. He, Clay Matthews, back. best and, oh, and pass rusher in the league. What's his name? Um, Tremont Williams. Oh yeah, he's he is definitely yeah. a Pro Bowl corner, definitely. And there's no reason they have why a lot of guys it. that you, like Green Bay kind of reminds me of the Patriots in a way of a lot of the guys that they find that are uh, <laughs> you know under the radar that aren't first round draft picks. I mean, not to say that the Patriots aren't a better team than Green Bay, they just had a bad game. But you know, I think that the or, both organizations are a lot alike. Um, you know, Aaron Rodgers. Great quarterback, Tom Brady. They have a lot of similarities. Two really good coaches. Yeah. I mean, McCarthy needs a little help. I think probably one of the things that will separate him from a good coach and me and a great coach over the next few years is he needs to get better at clock management. Yeah. He blew a couple games this year. One against the Patriots, which we just mentioned. But, I mean, if you want to become be a, a really good team and become a great team, a Super Bowl caliber team like, you know, like the Steelers and the Patriots and the Every Colts year, are, right? and, yeah. you know. Like that are teams that you know that they're gonna be in the playoffs. Like there's no doubt that they're yeah, gonna be there. Definitely. Like, you know, you have to be able. That's one thing. Is clock management such a big part of the game. You know, disciplining the team, just along with you know having a good running back, having a good quarterback. That's just as important no matter who you have to be able to have skills like that. But I definitely, you know, not to you know knock on the NFC or nothing, but um. Yeah, the they AFC. have to get. They have NFC has to get better when you put okay, but teams like tell Seattle, me, tell Seahawks. me that, tell me that. How how is the Seattle Seahawks? Seven and nine make, make the, the playoffs. playoffs. When the Patriots two years ago were what nine and no well, no ten and ten and six, and the Patriots nah, didn't even make eleven and five actually. And you can't even compare that because there it was a division record. Yeah, you know, but that's, that's how the NFL. Stu- yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just it's stupid. It's stupid. Right, so can you can you say any? I bet you nine out of ten coaches asked before the season, would you accept right now having a good year at eleven and five? I guarantee you, plenty of coaches would exactly, take that. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe not the Bill Belichick. Maybe not. Like coaches like that, yeah. but I guarantee you, the Lions, the Bears, a lot of those teams that yeah. average every year, you know, nine wins, they would kill to have an eleven and five record, and a seven and nine record, they would say no way, I don't want a losing yeah, record. Exactly. And they still make the playoffs. Yeah. yeah, I mean that division is just awful though. If you think about that division, but you know what though, they went there, and I think next year the Seattle. If the what Seahawks, happened to Houston too? They were they were really yeah. promising last year. Houston and they um, almost made the, they almost beat they did beat the Colts. Yep. And then we that was the first game of the season, right? They beat the yeah, well, I think it was. So I don't. I mean, the Colts did go on a tear. They barely made the playoffs. They yeah. made. They went on an absolute tear at the end of the season. But uh, Houston, huge disappointment, I'd have yeah. to say. Houston and um, who else? Uh, Kansas City. You know, I was yeah, they lost much the first more. round. Yeah, you know, I mean, granted, Matt, I think Belichick made Matt Castle the quarterback that yeah, is. But he, they did play the Ravens. No, that is the biggest disappointment, disappointment in the, the Ravens. AFC. Yeah, how do you? You know, I don't even and the AFC, and the biggest about. one, I think, out of everybody, Seattle beating New Orleans. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I thought I thought they was going to win because, you know, it's just like the, When, the, when NBA, we watched not even a year ago, the, the uh, what's it called? The Saints lit up the Patriots on Monday Night Football, lit them up. Yeah. I think it was like 45 to 10. Yeah. How, I don't get how a team goes from that one year to the next year having a good another good season and then losing to the worst playoff team in well, the NFL in the I, first like, round. I think it was just – they I think had, I think it was a bad year to be the number it, one seed. It was just a home. It was a home game, and I was just rocking. Seattle was Seattle fans. They, they, I think the Seattle fans won that game. If it wasn't if they was away, Seattle would have got blown away. Yeah. But 
you know, as you've seen, when they when they went away, you see they the got thing. Uh, I don't know if you caught this, but uh, when Marshawn Lynch ran for that run, it caused a small earthquake around from the fans rumbling. He did. It really did. Yeah, you can look it up on the internet. It caused a small. It caused, I think it was like a 2.1 earthquake, or from 1.8 to 2.1 earthquake. Um, on the seismographs around Seattle, that because God. of the fans, because they were cheering so loud during that one play, they timed it back. You can look it up. Wow, see that's that's just amazing. Like you that's when I mean? like a lot of people would say, oh well, football. I don't know how you can get like that riled up for it. When you hear like stats like that, it really makes you think like yeah. how how much like people care about the yeah, game. Exactly. Really, I don't know, maybe not enough to call themselves we, but yeah, well, I'm, if you haven't been to a Bruins game or a Patriots yeah. game. These fans have emotion just like the players. They do. I, you know, I, they the, fight, the, I've seen players, you know, Patriot fans fight Patriot fans, you know, just because you know, if they make a smart remark. So it's really serious. They really think that they're part of the team. They get really emotional. And if you've seen this whole thing with LeBron James over the, over the summer when he went to Cleveland, they, that, they felt that he was part of the family. You know what yeah, I mean? the and, riots and stuff. Exactly. You know, he burned his jersey. So, like I said, you know, that's why – Fans that are strongly a part of their team that really want the team to win. And now like look at the Cavaliers. Cavaliers, what, dropped like 20 straight? Yeah, they're just off. They're, they won like eight games, like eight and 30. They lose again, blown out, you know, by everybody. Last and, night they lost to the Celtics by, what, 20? Yeah, they lost to the Lakers. How are you going to play on Sunday night football? I mean, sorry, Sunday night basketball on primetime, and then you're going to get smoked yeah. by 20 after losing 20 in a row. Like, if that's not going to motivate you. I mean, they just don't have any players. They don't. I mean, you can tell LeBron was that team. But... You can't really blame the Cavaliers because if you look at that team, they all waited for LeBron to do something. Yeah. And you think LeBron would get triple team and that would open up their shots. Which last, year they would, the last year they would wait and wait and wait and just count on, okay, he's on the bench right now. We're down by 12. When he comes back in, we're going to be yeah, we're gonna right be, back in the game. Yeah. That's not fair to him either. They have to be, I mean, I don't blame him for leaving, to be honest. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm sure he was chasing money at some point, but also he wants to win a championship. Who's What player, one, the arguably the – first or second best player in the NBA who's not going to go play with the third or fourth best players in the NBA. Yeah, I mean... And make make their highest paid contract ever. I personally... It wasn't his highest. They had they yeah, offered, Cleveland offered more money. Offered, but, but I he, offered, he took whatever they were, the Knicks or the he would take I would have. I mean, one, you look at two years, three years in a row, three and four the three out of the last Miami's four Miami's not doing too great this year. Though. No, they're second place. They're doing really... They're doing better. But for the team, for the dream yeah, team that yeah, they're exactly. supposed to have... But Cleveland had the number one seed, and with LeBron, you, they got to the Eastern Conference Finals. It's part of you being a team. You know, what I mean, you gotta you keep growing. You don't want to just leave. You know, what I mean, you already first place. You don't. You got the best record in the East. You know, what I mean, there's no reason you beat the teams already. You beat them. You know what to do. You have to just come out there and play. You know what I mean? But him to go to Miami, I just I kind of lost respect for him. Yeah. You know, what I mean, I just thought LeBron, you're the second best player in the yeah, NBA. Yeah, he's breed it. You know what no, I mean? first now. Uh, Kobe's second. Yeah, this, but. No, I don't know about that. But yeah, the second now, who best won player. the MVP last few years? Who won, won the championship? championship. Yeah, Doesn't the matter. MVP. Who won the finals the, MVP? MVP? Doesn't Thank matter. You. But, was, but um, was, he, was he eligible for that? No, he wasn't. Was, no, what was he? What happened to him, though? I'm talking about player. I'm not talking about what? team. Okay, in a regular uh, season, LeBron's the best player in a regular season. Hands down. In the playoffs, most come, valuable though, player. In a regular season, LeBron is the best player in the NBA. When the playoffs come, though, who, who you hear about every night? Kobe doing this, Kobe doing that. Kobe holding up that Kobe. fifth ring. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe holding up that Kobe choke. probably is one of the best playoff players of all time. Okay, that's all that matters. No, it's not. What do you? What? That's that's individual. I mean, uh, like, he got I mean, five rings. What I'm, do you we're mean? talking about individual in the regular season, the best player. I, we're talking about LeBron first. LeBron is the best. We didn't say the first or be- second best team. We said the first or second best player in the regular season. Right now, LeBron James is the best. Yeah. But when okay, the playoffs, but that's when what the, the topic was. When the playoffs come, when the playoffs come, where's LeBron? He's gonna be sitting at home we're not watching talking Kobe. About, hold up, number six. We're not talking about that. You just changed the subject completely. To try how did I change the subject? We went from talking about who the best you player said, you is. You said he's the MVP, and I said LeBron is the best player in the in the, in the in right the NBA, now. Standing the right, right now, right now, right now. What we're currently talking about, our discussion, and right now in the world, LeBron James is the best basketball. Right player. now, in the regular season. That's what we're talking okay. about. Now you're changing okay, it to what he did in the past. I agree with that. I agree with that. Kobe Bryant doesn't have to do that anymore. He doesn't have to score 35 for them to be. We have a great team. We yeah, have, they're the best team. Okay, so why does well, Kobe we're Bryant, talking about the best player. Okay, no, no, no. Kobe Bryant is still the best player. Doesn't matter. Just Celtics are going to win the championship. Just Celtics are going to win that championship. Just because he doesn't put up the right stats or a lot of stats doesn't mean what? That we're means not talking not the about best? stats. So how's LeBron the he's best, the best player? player? He's the best player. How? how? He has the most stats, biggest, right? No, he's the biggest impact in the game. How? When you when Kobe's in the game, you don't always know that he's in the game. When oh, LeBron's in the game, you, he's the best oh, athlete in the NBA. 
Come on. Come you on. don't you, always know when you he's know in the game. You know when Kobe's in the game. No, you don't. I watched plenty of finals games last year, every game, and sometimes you, you wouldn't even know if he was on the floor or not. That's a fact. LeBron, but you always know he's the best athlete on the LeBron, floor. He's everywhere. He's an animal. If LeBron was that good, you got first seed on everything in no. the Eastern Conference. One player is not going to change everything. You got no. I'm saying you have first seed. You get you, to the okay, playoffs. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's back it up a second ago. Yeah, he had Paul Pierce. Said, he had Paul Pierce guarding him. You, you can't kill Pierce and win. Come on, I don't even want to talk you, about it. You just said you just thing. said that the Cavaliers have no one without LeBron, right? Yeah. And you just said that the Lakers are a good team other than Kobe Bryant. So it's there's no, nothing no, no, to do no. with winning first seed. I said we have a good team. The Lakers have a good team. Yes, they do. They have guys like Derek Fisher and stuff. Oh, no, Derek Fisher. What do you mean? Not, he won an NBA not, Finals game not, last year. He's not a. He's not really a good. He's, he's not all that. Yes. He won. Yeah, he won a game. Okay, he won a game. But okay. Wins won games too. It's one in a, one in a million. One in a million. Derek Fisher has. He's. He's one of the most underrated players in the NBA right now. He's been there. He's been there as long as Kobe. He's had as much of an impact. As, right. So you'd rather Derek Fisher than Mo Williams? Oh yeah. Yes. He's been there. He has a lot more experience than he does. I don't know. You wouldn't. That's stupid. What has Mo Williams ever won? You just said he was on the Cavaliers who were a bunch Mo of bums Williams, last year. Mo Williams been to All Star game though. Okay. He's done. He's averaged like. Once again, that's something Derek individual. Fisher, individual. Derek, yeah, exactly. So who would you rather have on your team? Derek Fisher. Right now, Derek Fisher. I'd rather have him on my team than Mo Williams. You know what Derek Fisher's stats are right now? He's well, how many like, championships has he won? Yeah, because with, of with who? Kobe, with Kobe. Because of who? With Kobe. Because of his team around with him. With Kobe. Yes, exactly. Players like Kobe. That's what a team you, is. That teams win championships. Derek Fisher went to Utah. You know what? This conversation. Derek going. Fisher went to Utah and did nothing. Because he didn't have nobody. Oh, else but he went team. to the NBA and won. How many rings does he have? Yeah, because how many, who did he many, play with? How many rings who does he, he have? With? He played with who did he play with? Shaq and Kobe. I'm not saying. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say, bro. Okay, and he was on a good team. He contributed to that. So you could say who was on Kobe's team? Did he win it by himself? No, he had Derek Fisher. It goes both ways. It's a two-way street. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it is. Derek Fisher. He's 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 rusty sometimes. Well, uh, that Takes was a good a discussion. Yeah, um, you know, I came out on top of that one, of course. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. And uh, we'll be back next week with a new episode. And uh, good luck to all the winter sports teams.